After a three-year hiatus, it is back. The Niagara Woodworking Show takes place this Saturday, February 3rd at Home Depot in St. Catharines. We have Kevin Violet with us. And Kevin, why the hiatus? That pandemic that happened to who uh, broken up some time there. So uh, again, we snuck the last show in just before lockdown. Really excited to have it back though. No problems lining up Home Depot as a host again? No, not at all, right? Great relationship with the, with the store, right? So um, looking to have, uh, have a good turnout, uh, working with some contacts, trying to get, I don't know, I'm hoping for like three to 4,000 people, right? Uh, I'd be able to go through the doors that day. In the interim, did you lose some of the, I guess some of the exhibitors that would have normally come to the show every year? Well, just with the pandemic and the way business has changed, um, definitely reaching out and getting some contacts. That some of the contacts I have have moved on. Some people have passed on. So being able to reach out to those contacts and, and, and establish that relationship again, been a bit of a challenge, but um, really looking forward to being able to, again, bring this back to the community. When you look at who you've lined up for this year's show, this week's show, I should say, what stands out in your mind? Um, well, excited to have Canadian Woodworking Magazine there. Um, you know, they've been uh, supportive since day one, um, but they're actually going to be in sight this time. So, uh, but again, uh, looking at the seminars, um, we've got uh, Barry Casement, um, phenomenal Niagara talent um, when it comes to wood carving, uh, and actually his daughter, um, Holly Talman, is also going to be there. Um, she has a website, Burnt by Holly. She does some phenomenal wood burning. So being able to introduce that, um, hopefully catch the bug with some more new people, with some new disciplines in woodwork. This is what makes this event so great is that there's not just a bunch of people selling what they're making, they're making some of it right there and showing off their techniques. 100%. We have a woodworking competition. So typically when you go to a woodworking competition, there's, there's maybe a carving class, a wood turning class, there could be a pyrography or wood burning class. Um, kind of done away with all of that. So there's a small class, which it has to fit inside a two foot by two foot box. Uh, and if it doesn't fit inside that box, it goes into our large category. So you could have carvers competing with scroll saw people and everything else, right? But really, everyone's just there for the community, show things off, and, and seeing the camaraderie and seeing people talk about woodworking and sharing ideas like, how'd you do that? How'd you do this? Right? Um, it, it, it's really nice to see. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. that day, and then the awards from 4 until 5. What kind of awards will be handed out? Um, years past, we've been... Um, well, correction. We, we hand out first prize in, fir in first, second, and third in both the small category and the large. Um, and then we have a door prize for all the people who enter the competition that didn't win, trying really to not discourage the novice woodworkers. Um, and that prize is typically worth more than the first place prize. So hoping to hand out somewhere between six and eight thousand dollars worth of prizes this year. Is there an admission to get into the show? Not at all, right? Not, no different than if you're walking through a Home Depot, right? So come on down. There's There's Going to be about, what are we going to be, about 10,000 square feet, um, roughly. Uh, we should have about 30 vendors, uh, six or seven uh, associations or guilds will be there as well. And again, just a good community day. Uh, doesn't cost anything. The whole family can come down and uh, learn, learn, uh, learn some new disciplines in woodworking. And also some representatives from the power tool sector. Absolutely, right? You can't do that without them, <laughs> right? Someone's got to make noise. When you walk into Home Depot, if I recall correctly, it was pretty much right at the entrance when you walked in. Is it the same place this year? Same thing, right? So when you walk in, so typically where you'd see the patio furniture, the barbecues, the, uh, you know, the, the things like that, take all that out, get a nice clean slate, and we set it up for the uh, woodworking event from there. Well, it's a great right. event. I know from being there a couple of yeah. times. Kevin, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. February 3rd, this Saturday, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. And then the awards, Absolutely. 4 till 5 o'clock. Yep. Thanks again. Appreciate it, Mike.